So we were talking about the concept of space as it pertains to other instruments in a track or maybe a lead instrument like a saxophone or a vocalist. What's also very, very, very important is how it relates to other guitar players. And uh, I was out in the neighborhood and, uh, you know, looking across the way and I found this guy, so I figured I'd drag him in. <laughs> uh, the writer of Ghostbusters, the guitarist on countless, and I do mean countless, hit records, even maybe almost as many as me. Uh, <clears throat> okay, maybe a few more. <laughs> Mr. Ray Parker, Jr. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? It's a pleasure to be on your video. It's sir. a wonderful thing, wonderful yes. thing. Okay, so uh, many of you would not know this, but a lot of my success is, is this guy is responsible for uh, not only teaching me a lot of guitar licks and things like that, but also sending me out on a lot of jobs. And once I, I wish got, I might say once I sent him out on, they never called me again. But that's okay. Just because I had it like that, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> <You're right. laughs> but seriously. So what we're going to do is try to simulate or demonstrate better what it would be like to play with another guitar player. And my my advice to especially the aspiring guitarist or the younger guitarist or uh, the maybe beginners is you always look to the person with more experience to take the lead. Don't be arrogant. Don't walk in talking about, well, I got the, I got the groove because there's always somebody that's had the groove a little bit longer than you. So you always see what the other guy's going to do first. You always give him that courtesy. So we're going to start off that way. I'm going to see what the other guy's going to do first. And uh, we're going to light it up like that. I'm going to give you a little drums here. Let's see what you got. Yeah, because we guitar players, we like our space. The space is just as important as the notes sometimes. That's not it. That's not it. No. One, two, three, four, one. what just happened here and if you can't feel the funk you need to check yourself but let me explain what happened here it was a call and response thing like the old I want to say slave situation where you hear somebody call and you'd respond and they would call and you'd respond he took the lead and I followed up we were in two different ranges remember earlier we talked about the concept of space as it relates to range dealing with the vocalist same thing is true of another guitar if he's playing high and I'm all up here Sounds like this. Now, a lot of people do that. They think they're funky. <laughs> but they're not but they're funky. Not. They're getting in the way of each yes. other. Now, it sounds a lot better if he's up high and I'm down low. You get the idea, right? Up high, down low. Okay, the concept of space with another guitar player. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ray Parker Jr. Thank you. Where's my guitar at? Oh, here it is. Track 22. Yeah, see, that's right. This kid's good. He must have bought the Paul Jackson Jr. The Science of Rhythm guitar video. Ah, oh, yeah.